And now, applying FRC match commentary to a fake FRC match. Hey everyone, my name's Ryan. And I'm Corey. And we are two game announcers and masters of ceremonies from the state of Illinois. We are also both first alumni, and one of our favorite parts of every first season is traveling to the first world championship and serving as game announcers at that event. It's one of our favorite things we look forward to seeing our first family each year. Being alumni ourselves and being mentors of FTC and FRC teams, it's always really exciting to see the amazing things teams are able to do with their robots and see the unique uh, new ideas they bring to the table each year. And speaking of unique, what you are going to be seeing today is a uh, sample of some game announcing practice. We are going to be uh, game announcing a non-robotics related video that neither Ryan nor I have ever seen before. Now, ideally, every game announcer at an FRC and FTC event knows the game inside and out, isn't going to be doing any improv. It's always good to have the skills to be able to think on your feet, and we'll see how well that goes in just a moment. All right, here we go in autonomous. We're seeing our robot beginning to make motion on the field. That itself a victory for the team. It looks like they're gonna be picking up at least a few points for moving into that auto zone at the beginning of the match, but a quick turn from the robot on the field, moving momentarily across the field out of the view of the scoring table. Moving on to that other side of the field could incur a penalty. It is important during autonomous, those robots stay with their alliance, but it looks like they may be back. All right, we see that robot scanning here, taking a look at what is available for them on the field. We do see an indication that they might be looking for one of the game elements available to them. We're seeing a green indicator light consistently on the robot, letting their team know that everything is A-OK -okay on board. And with that, we do see our first movement toward a game piece in this match. One piece of fuel secured by this robot. They strafe their way forward on this field, approaching the scoring station. We do now see their alliance member join the field with a game piece of their own. It looks like not a lot of teamwork between those two members of our blue alliance. This robot coming in, playing a little bit of interference. They're picking up a third new game element. We are seeing our original team that looks like it is Team team Andy. Team uh, Andy. Team Andy. Looks like they were able to score with fuel. They're going back to pick more up. We know that fuel matters in this game. That fuel being secured once again, moving toward the scoring station and a big quick turnaround on that scoring cycle for this alliance. We're going to have to see how many times they can continue this cycle and see if they can keep it moving through the end of this match. Checking in on our score, we see a score of Blue Alliance 110, Blue Alliance 54. Let's see what we have continuing as we approach the end game of this match. Still seeing interference played by the Red Alliance with the Blue Alliance doing a great job getting around, scoring in the middle goal. First time we've seen that happen from Team Andy of the Blue Alliance. Oh, Blue Alliance coming back over to the side. It looks like they wanted to swipe in and get in the way of the feeding station, but that didn't happen. It does look like we have a little bit of showing off as well. One of these robots showing off what they can do, maybe preparing for alliance selection late this afternoon. We see one more element of fuel making its way slowly across the field. We'll see if they'll have to be able to make it in time by the end of this match to increase their score even more. Not a lot happening on the Red Alliance from a scoring perspective. Blue going back for more. Red Alliance looks like they have a fourth scoring element that we have not seen yet today. We know first really was upping the ante with the ketchup and mustard game elements in this game. Red Alliance trying to do something with those as the end game period approaches. And now we have entered the end game of this match. Same gold as before, but we do see this end game piece moving in toward the center of the field. We will see what this alliance will be able to do, see if they can pick up any of those additional ranking points at the conclusion of this match. It looks like Red Alliance's team Andy has a unique, I'm sorry, Blue Alliance's team Andy has a unique transforming robot. Well, earlier they had a unique humanoid design. They now have a plowy or a dozer based design that was just able to score some points. 
and check out the intake coming onto the field now. We see those compliant wheels up at the top of the robot, allowing these mechanisms to gently secure oddly shaped game pieces that they might run into on the playing field. It looks like now we are seeing a throwback. It looks like we have an inner tube. We all know first loves inner tube game elements. There are unique design choices that teams can make. Right now, we have Team Andy trying to score with that inner tube. Our throwback to rack and roll, trying to get it in. The first time didn't work out, but their second time succeeds. Persistence pays off for the Blue Alliance. And it looks like that game piece might be staying secure. Hopefully, it will remain there. Now, remember that all of our scoring elements will be scored at the conclusion based on their resting place at the end of the match. We've got more people coming into play by this robot, approaching that scoring station once again, unimpeded by the defense of the Red Alliance. Red Alliance shifting their strategy. They now know defense is not enough. They have to put some points up on the board. The Blue Alliance effectively manipulating so many game elements. The Red Alliance needs to catch up. They have all the skills. They just need the time. Momentary lapse in control of one of those fuel pieces. It falls out of the manipulator of that robot on the field. That fuel rolling away from them. They did miss the scoring station, but it looks like the creative manipulator of this robot will allow them to recover and then drop off that playing piece once again in the scoring station, adding a few more points for the Blue Alliance. Now some cross-program play here. We're not used to seeing that. It seems like we now have a first challenge robot on the field from a team andy we are not sure if this kind of thing is allowed but the head ref not calling a field fault we're just gonna have to see how this goes and that fuel being carried across by that ftc style robot very quickly making its way across the field and that fuel will be deployed we see that roller mechanism on the front of the robot it will rev up to slowly and gently release that fuel once again into our scoring station. A little bit of trouble on the mechanism, but it does make its way on in, approaching the end of our match. Red Alliance looks like they're back to a defensive strategy. They are trying to get in the way, but the Blue Alliance swooping around, easily getting back to their side of the field. Red Alliance now there waiting and ready to try to get in the way of that feeding or intake station. But it looks like now that they're there, Play more of an observer to see what the Blue Alliance is planning on doing. It does look like a brief absence of scoring elements on this side of the field. We will have to see the creativity of the team in their loading station, possibly waiting for a different game element from a human player behind the playing field wall. We'll have to take a look at this robot, see what their decision will be as they decide how to score some additional points at the conclusion of this match. We're seeing a little bit of a slowdown from Team Andy here. Maybe that team not coming in with a fully charged battery and that catching up to them. This was a long match and a lot of action from that team. We all know when those batteries lose voltage, we see things slow down. Hopefully Team Andy able to stick it out for the rest of the match. We do see that FTC style robot and that manipulator coming on over to the playing field wall, but that robot momentarily taking a look at something beyond the player station, possibly their camera getting attention from something beyond taking a look into the queuing line. Let's give it up for our teams. That's the end of our match. Congratulations, Red and Blue Alliances. What a phenomenal match here today. Very well done. We'll be taking a look at your final score and your rankings in just a moment.